appearances. They either break you or make you. Everything in life can honestly be said to be based off your appearance. From your height, to your race, to your butt, and most definitely, your face. Last year, after a long process of sheer frustration, I found out I had a rare chronic condition called oral facial granulomatosis. Now, some of you are probably wondering, oral what? And for that, we'll call it OFG. OFG is an allergy in which your body has an intolerance to certain benzoates in things like chocolate and nutmeg, causing your lip and inner mouth to swell, depending on how much you eat. Now, you see, for a 14-year-old boy, looks were everything, to me at least, from my perfect smile to the uniformed eyebrows and even the laid hair on my head. I cared about my appearance. Slowly, my condition worsened. I began to feel my self-esteem drop to a point in which I didn't want to go out anymore. This small fragment of my body had defined me, and there was nothing anyone could do or say to change this. My appearance was my downfall. Later on in my journey with OFG, I began to get used to it. In fact, I even got a nickname, Big Lip. At first, it agitated me, but then I kind of liked it. I didn't worry, and I didn't care. I didn't care that my Big Lip made me look ugly. I didn't care that I got long, and I mean long, glares from strangers looking at my lip. I didn't care that I wasn't perfect, and neither should you. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying you shouldn't care about your appearance and start walking around with uncombed hair and unwashed armpits. <laughs> what I'm saying is, when you don't spend all of your time trying to fit in, you could be using it to try and stand out. Like Bernard Baruch, a successful philanthropist, once said, be who you are and say how you feel. For those who mind, don't matter, and those who matter, don't mind. So ladies, instead of trying to match the left eyebrow with the right, worry about how you're going to achieve the goals you've set for the day. Gentlemen, instead of trying to make your arms big like the man you saw on Love Island, worry about how you're going to finish the pile of work you said you'll do tomorrow. You can change your appearance any day, but you only have one shot at leaving your mark on this world. So make it count. Like me, I presented an entire speech on appearances with odd socks, a rip in my trousers, and to be honest, I forgot to spray deodorant this morning. <laughs> Bet you didn't notice that. <laughs>